Well, Ray, it's the first time we've spoke to you since uh, well, the end of the season. Um, it's been a busy few weeks, lots of new faces in the door. Just tell us what the summer's been like from your point of view. Yeah, it's been a, it's been quite an intense summer, obviously. Um, there's, there's been a lot of rebuilding having to be done. I think I said at the end of the season there, um, you know, we have to have a plan. My plan was a two-year plan. And within that two-year plan to take the club back to where it belongs, you know, we had to attract the right quality of player and, uh, you know, we've had to work extremely hard over the, the summer to bring in that quality. I think we're doing that at the moment. I think we're signing extremely talented football players that are uh, all proven very, very good players in the Championship tonight. So, and it's been great that being able to convince them to come back down and play in the, the league below. But um, you know, this is has been a has been a tough, tough start in terms of uh, recruitment. But you know, we're on the right tracks. Speak about some of your signings specifically. You've recruited Michael Tidza, Gary Cannon, Aidan Connolly, um, Charlie Tell. For all players that Falkirk fans will know and recognise from last year, but players that have got plenty of ability. Well, that's it, you know, when, when you're doing your recruitment, um, you know, I have to make sure I get every single one of these players right. I think everybody can agree that Michael Tidzer, um, you know, we've worked together before, and how highly I rate him, and we had to work extremely hard to get Michael over the door. It took a long time, there was a lot of interest. Like every one of the, the players we've signed, there's been incredible interest from other players and other teams in the Championship, but they've come, they, they've bought into the vision, it's a two-year plan that we want to be challenging to get out of the Championship next year into the Premier League, so, you know, the, the ones we've signed uh, you know, have all bought into that, which is great, and the ones you've talked about, super players, Charlie Telfer's an excellent football player, Gregor Buchanan, um, you know, I signed Charlie at Morton, Gregor at Morton, Tidzer was there, who's want to come back and work with us, Aidan Conley, I know very, very well, so everybody we've got has got proven ability that can play in the Championship, never mind League One. Looking at it in terms of so a bit of the creativity there, but at the back now you're um, you've got a solid kind of back line almost built in terms of your goalkeeper, probably maybe just a right back that are close to getting over the line too as well. So it's kind of coming together. Yeah, I think it's important you you have a clear idea on how you want to build your squad. Um, we've done that as you said there. We've got our goalkeeper, we've got our left back, left centre back, and uh, right centre back in, and we're very close to having a right back signed, who's extremely talented football player and, and, and proven. Um, through the middle of the park we've now got four excellent football players, Morgano, Tidzer, Charlie and uh, Maka. Aidan Connolly gives us really good width and, and, and really talented football player and we've got Chucky from last season who's extremely athletic and a really good football player so the, the building blocks of the team's in place um, of, of quality football players I've got to add that as well and now we're just looking to the area that every probably team's looking for, we're, we're needing to strengthen in the striker area but again I think I've said this before, I don't rush into anything, I've got to make sure I'm signing players that are right for the club, that are the right quality to take us to where we want to be, so we just need to be patient there, we do have targets and uh, but ultimately all these players that, that we're looking at, other clubs are looking at as well, so we'll be patient. Speaking specifically about your pre-season programme, the last two days, kind of bringing the players in, stepped up again today with the fitness testing and you probably, as we know, hit the ground running probably tomorrow and into next week before the matches start. It's a yeah. gradual build-up, but a good group of players that you're getting to work with. Yeah, you know, I said that to them uh, this morning. You know, I'm, I'm really excited about the, the quality that's in the dressing room, the type of players we've brought to the club. You know, they're all good professionals, the atmosphere that we need to create. We need to create a, an environment where... Uh, where everybody comes in and they're happy to work to get the best out of them. I think we're going to do that. I think the players we've brought in are going to bring that to the club along with their professionalism. But you're right, the first two days is all about gelling, um, breaking them in slightly easier. Um, today we've done a lot of fitness testing, but uh, as of tomorrow, we'll be right into the, the main stuff. It'll be double session tomorrow and uh, we'll definitely be lifting the, the tempo of uh, and, and the work rate of training. There's obviously looking at the dressing room, there's players that have played with each other before and you can sense even in the first two days there was no real kind of new boys so to speak, everyone knew each other exactly, and a, yeah. a, a, a good a good buzz about the place. Yeah, I think that's important. You know, when, you're, when you're trying to create a culture at a club, you know, and that's what we're trying to do here, along with building environments, you've got to make sure that the players you're bringing in fit into that mould and you know, there's no point in me going out and signing players that I know nothing about or unsure about their qualities. We've been very fortunate that the, the players that have joined us all know how I work and I know how they work and you know and the good thing is that they, they do have that that, that that common bond that they've, they've probably known each other over the last few years and that so that will certainly help us in terms of our, our team bonding because you know we're having to start from scratch this year and we're having to rebuild from the bottom we only had two or three signed players first team players recognised and Paul's away to Dunfermline so it's, it's a massive rebuild that's on right now and the most important thing is that you build a squad that's going to have harmony and it's going to have that uh, that desire to do well for each other. 
because this morning the league fixtures were confirmed for next year and we start with a trip to Peterhead. I mean, you've said it all summer, there isn't going to be any easy games in that league, but it have been a especially tough one given that there might be a wee celebratory mood up in uh, yeah. North Aberdeen. Yeah, I think uh, any, walk of, any walk of life, there's nothing, nothing easy. Um, and any game of football is not easy anymore. Um, it's been proven over the, the, the every year that, that there's always upsets, but it's a tough away game. Um, Peterhead, uh, you know, they're, they're a strong. There'll be a strong outfit under Jim McAnally. But listen, what, all we've got to do is we've got to concentrate on what we are doing as a club. We've got to keep putting the, the building blocks in that are important to us, and, and then we need to go and make sure that every game we are, we're competitive next year and going to win every single game. So, but we're not taking for granted in, uh, uh, anything at all because every game will be tough. We, uh, everybody will see us as a scalp, so we need to be motivated and make sure that we're bang there. But as I said, I'm really pleased with the, the quality of player that we brought to the club at the moment, um, and hopefully we can continue to do that over the next three or four weeks. Ray, thanks very much for your time, and we'll catch up with you again, I'm sure, next week. Thank you. Cheers.